Hello everybody, um, it's 2020 and we're back at my art desk. It's kind of messy, but uh, you, know, you can see it's me. Hi, <laughs> this is how I let you guys know it's me when I'm filming from this angle. Anyways, um, you guys see my eco tank right there. Uh, the printer, I have to print something just about every week. I've been printing Darth Vader or Starry Night uh, just to keep the printer from clogging but uh, as long as I print once a week I'm free of clogs but this week I decided might as well go ahead and print out the sample ballot for 2020 for uh, where I live you know whereabouts in, in Colorado now the county is very big and in some parts there's different districts where like uh the sample ballot has more districts on it than the one that i will actually get which will be personalized to me and uh i figured the sample ballot's better for me to use because uh you know, other ballots might dox more specifically where i live um and i've been recently you know kind of worried about people like Casey Neistat, who's do doing, like, drone photography from this type of angle of his own house. I'm like, you know, people could probably look on Google Maps and find you. So, we're a little uh, sensitive to that. But anyways, I did a Let's Vote video in 2018. That was the last one. And I've been going over my ballots pretty much each uh, year since the primaries I've actually only gotten two uh, pieces of mail for uh, this election cycle so far now we are like 40 days out from the election so uh, the fact that I've only gotten these two pieces of mail I still think is is kind of odd because I got a whole bunch of mail from uh, Bloomberg prior to this for the primary so uh this these are both from this is from americans for prosperity colorado issue committee and this is from americans for prosperity colorado issue committee and the the two mailers are both talking about uh 116 and 117 right and the Colorado Americans for Prosperity group, they're trying to keep this thing called TABOR in place. Now, TABOR stands for the Taxpayer's Bill of Rights. And what it actually stands for to somebody who's uh, rather blue like me is that uh, this is the law that was put into place that makes it so every time we want to raise taxes for anything, we have to put it to a vote of the people. And it's a psychological trick that uh, people really don't want to vote for more taxes for themselves. So more spending doesn't happen because when people actually have to make the decision, do I want to give up the money for this? They never do. So this has been really fucking Colorado uh, for a decade, really. Because we have the same size of budget, but we have you know 10 years of growth and this is really choking our school system it's just it's a horrible thing but it's uh it's masterful in its design so what they're saying is they want me to vote yes on 116 and yes on 117 which means uh if i'm right about this maybe i want to vote no on both of these right just to uh you know just to follow the pattern that I've had before with this this uh, pack who, you know, I, I don't agree with them and I'm probably going to look at those two issues and, and be like, no, I'm the exact different from them. You know, I'm the exact opposite. So on the sample ballot, we have uh, Joseph Biden. He's the first one listed. I'm probably going to choose him. But I do want to uh, point out that at the very bottom of the list of people who's on this is Kanye West uh, and his vice president is Michelle Tidball. 
I don't know who that is. But, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of names of people who uh, want to run for president here. All right? Um, yeah. I might have considered green, but uh, they're actually only on the ballot in like 32 different states. And because of COVID, they can't do uh, uh, any sort of signatures for petitions to get on the ballot because of social distancing. So it's really fucked their chances, the Green Party, this year. Um, so it really, for me, does look more binary than any other year that it's either Democrat or Republican. Um, right here we've got for Senator, I'd go for Hickenlooper over Cory Gardner, um, you know, and then the rest of these are different districts and, you know, you'd have to know which one I lived in in order to know how I'd vote, except for this one, uh, Regent of University of Colorado. We're going to go for Chavez. He's a, he's a Democrat and, you know, we like Democrats on the Board of Regents for the university, you know, because we don't want anti-science crap getting in there. And, you know, all of these you really have to know where I lived. I don't live in Lock Bowie either, uh, in that town. Um, and these are all Colorado Supreme Court justices. Uh, shall they be retained? You know, um, they've done pretty good so far, I think. So I'm going to retain them all. I haven't seen anything, uh, you know, heretofore that I that would make me want to vote out a judge, uh, district court judges, um, you know, same thing. I haven't, you know, we don't have any uh, big uh, drama about our judges in this district. Um, county court judge, uh, that's that's actually like. Pretty much everyone who's ever been convicted of a crime wants to remove the, the county court judge. Uh, a lot of those are my clients. But we're going to skip all those, right? And we're going to go to the uh, ballot measures, right? Let's just go ahead and zoom this in so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so Amendment B... Uh, says, without increasing taxes to help preserve funding for local districts that provide fire protection, police, ambulance, hospital, kindergarten, through 12th uh, grade, blah, 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 um, periodically change the residential assessment rate in order to maintain the statewide proportion of residential property as compared to all other taxable property valued for property tax purposes and repeal the non-residential property tax assessment rate of 29%. I'm going to give that a yes. Let's go to C. It says, Shall there be an amendment to the Colorado Constitution concerning the conduct of charitable gaming activities and in connection therewith allowing bingo raffle licenses to hire managers and operators of games and reducing the required period of charitable organizations continuous existence before obtaining a charitable gaming license i'm gonna say yes the reason why i'm saying yes on this one is because it gives uh the existing casinos uh a little bit of competition and it puts uh money into charity's hands money that would otherwise have been gambled away you know i'd rather have it be in a charity than in a for-profit casino that's just you know promoting gambling mind you i'm an addiction counselor so this one is amendment 76 constitutional amendment um it says shall there be an amendment to the colorado constitution requiring that to be qualified to vote it at any election, an individual must be a United States citizen. <sighs> I'm going to vote no. And here's my, my thinking on that. It's already there that you have to be a citizen to register to vote. Right? Um, this just really codifies it in a way that I think is redundant 
and it's kind of uh, it, it's it, it's just giving the middle finger to people who are not citizens. You know, it's not necessary. It's more words in our constitution than we need. Amendment 77 says, shall there be an amendment to the Colorado Constitution and a change to the Colorado Revised Statutes concerning voter-approved changes to limiting gaming and in connection therewith, allowing the voters of Central City, Black Hawk, and Cripple Creek for those individual cities to approve other games in addition to those currently allowed. Yes, this is going to allow for, like, sports betting um, in those casinos because what's happened is they need to be able to compete with the online uh, the online betting that people have been able to find ways around uh, the blocks that are in place. So people are betting online anyway. So they might as well be able to bring it back to our state rather than, say, some foreign country, you know, when they're making these sports bets. So that I'm going to give a yes to. Um, the, it's not going to promote any more gambling than there already is. It's just going to uh, you know, get people to sign up for more local gambling than uh, otherwise. Now, in other sor sorts of cities, I'll say that... Uh, you know the the crime aspect of those casinos is a lot greater because uh, their casinos aren't in the mountains. Central City, Black Hawk, and uh, what's the other one? Cripple Creek. All three of those are nestled into the mountains in the Rocky Mountains, such that it's it's a long. Uh, trek to get there. You don't find homeless people stealing to get money just to play slot machines here in Colorado because all of our casinos are so far away from the big city that it doesn't make sense to try to steal something to get out there because you'd probably spend all the money that you got from stealing something just to get out there because it's you know more than an hour away up the mountains. So um, we don't have the same problems with gambling that you know other cities have with the crime rates. So, uh, let's see. Proposition EE, it's just statutory from here on out. It's not uh, amendments to our Constitution. Uh, shall state taxes be increased by $294 million annually by imposing a tax on nicotine liquids? I'm going to say yes on this one because uh, if you read further, it says that it's only going to be about nine cents per uh, cigarette, e-cigarette. So it, it's it's not really going to keep people from getting it, you know. Because as an addiction counselor, I think that e-cigarettes are a good way for people to do harm reduction and eventually quit if that's what they want to do. And if you only uh, do like a, a little, you know, or like it says right here, nine cents more, right? If you only put nine cents more on that e-cigarette, it's not making it inescapably, you know, difficult to get that e-cigarette. You know, it's not, you know, dollars more. It's only nine cents, so I'm gonna say go ahead, and make them pay for their own uh, problems that they're putting in the economy by you know raising our health care costs. <clears throat> Proposition 113, statutory says, uh, shall we join the uh, act that will be an agreement among states? to elect the President of the United States by national popular vote, which is Senate Bill 9-042. And I'm going to say yes, because twice in my lifetime, the guy who won the popular vote uh, did not get the, uh, get the election. Um, that was Al Gore and Hillary Clinton. So, yeah, twice in my lifetime it's already happened 
that the Electoral College has let us down. Um, Proposition 114 says, Shall there be a change to the Colorado Revised Statutes concerning the restoration of gray wolves throughout their reintroduction, blah, 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 and shall we compensate owners for losses of livestock caused by gray wolves? Yes. Um, there's this uh, atropic dysfunction that we have here in Colorado where we don't have enough wolves to kill all of the uh, deer, we don't have enough mountain lions, we don't have enough apex predators, right? And those apex predators are part of the ecosystem and because of that we have a lot of overgrazing of lands because we have antelope deer moose fucking moose now because I, I guess climate change is pushing them down from canada i've seen so many moose this year um we have elk um especially uh a little north of here um just a lot of elk <laughs> and it's like nothing kills them except for humans so <clears throat> Proposition 115. Uh, shall there be a change to the statutes concerning prohibition of an abortion? Okay, this is the the perennial let's ban abortion thing. Um, I'm going to say no, no, we're, we don't want anything like that. Just leave it the way it is. Um, it's, yeah, just every... Every two years, they try a different way. Um, it, 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 the, the issue just never goes away. Uh, this wants to raise the income tax rate from... Uh, it, it wants to reduce it from 4.63% to 4.55%. And I'm going to say, no, we need those taxes to be able to pay for stuff. Now... People are going to say, like, oh, it's just a little bit of a percent. No, that's like millions and millions of dollars. Do I want to squeeze teachers even more? No. Fucking hell no. Um, and what were they saying on this ad? Uh, vote yes on 116. No. No, I'm not going to. They also want a yes on 117. What do they want? Um, do we want a statewide voter approval of on the next even-year election of any newly created or qualified state enterprise that is exempt from the from Tabor, uh, if the projected or annual combined revenue from fees and surcharges of the enterprises and all other enterprises created within the last five years that serve the, primarily the same purpose is greater than a hundred million dollars, no, we'll just tax them as we see fit. If it's a new thing that Tabor doesn't cover, because uh, you've already fucked us with the ability to raise money. Because psychologically, people don't realize what you did. You know, you're putting the guilt on them for, you know, their own expenditures. It, you know, every time they have to see, do I want to raise my own taxes? No. Do they want these social programs? Yes. But we can't get them because you keep on asking them, do I want to raise my own taxes this much, this much, this much? And, and the numbers, fucking, it's a fucking psychological ploy. The Tabor people in other states you do not want Tabor <laughs> it will fuck your state all right prop 118 says uh, paid family leave yes I want people to be able to have pay, paid family leave it's going to take 0.9% basically 1% of your paycheck uh, to be put into a fund for when you actually use the paid family leave and it's going to be like a, a new enterprise within the state but yes i want paid family leave uh county measures which i don't know if all of these apply to me uh with no increase in tax rate shall we uh keep a tax around that's going to help our open spaces yes um that's basically uh all of the open, free, protected land. We have a lot of beautiful places in Colorado and uh, wildlife areas, wetlands, rivers, and streams. Yeah, I love those. A everyone's going to vote yes on that, no matter what color you are, uh, as far as red and blue. Uh, let's see. 1B. 
shall we consider a half penny per dollar sales tax to be continued forever for building roads and bridge projects yes hell yeah let's just keep that tax going build those bridges maintain those roads nobody likes potholes right 5a uh that's about Byers school district and then this one 5b is strasburg school district 5c is weld county school district um it's all money for school so um increase yes uh Increase general fund override, yes. Increase all that. So uh, I don't know which school district applies to people, but yeah, more money for schools is, is what I'm about. And uh, 6A, tax revenue stabilization. You know, um, every time, see this is another thing that, that, that Tabor does. Every time we raise more money than we thought we would by a tax, we have to put it to the people as, as far as can we keep doing that? You know, do we do we want to stop doing that? But this is about county fire protection. So I'm going to say yes, keep that tax going. And this is another one, one with fire protection. I don't think anyone's going to vote against, you know, firemen given the, the giant wildfires that have been in California and Colorado and Oregon this year. So... That is the sample ballot as I've gone through it for Colorado uh, for 2020. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll keep you guys up to date on elections. Uh, as I get more mailings, I'll probably collect them all and make a video of all the mailings that I get in the month run up to the election. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to get more because it's a weird year and uh, a lot of people are, are doing mail-in ballots. They might figure that everyone's already voted at a certain point, so we'll see. Um, but definitely more election theme stuff is gonna happen because this is a really, really heated election. Um, talk to you guys later.